evening, everyone. We had a chance to interview the senator in the wee hours of the morning this morning, and he had a very uh, little different message than what we had a couple of years ago on the campaign trail. One big thing he said was the imagery of New Orleans was what really brought him down to this area, and he really wants to make this a centerpiece of his campaign is to take action. One thing that hasn't been had any action, look at this behind us, an amazing thing we saw today. This was a hospital just outside of New Orleans. You can see the front of it. It looks like a bomb actually hit the place. Again, nothing has ever taken place in this here in the last year. One of many areas where the senator says we definitely need to take action. We're asking Americans to take responsibility, to take action, take action now. That's why the former senator says he chose New Orleans to kick off his presidential campaign and build on a theme of taking action. How many times have you been to New Orleans since Hurricane Katrina hit? Uh, I was trying to remember last night. It's either three or four. I said three, but somebody else said I'd been here four. I don't three or four times. Is that an, enough in terms of taking action on your own part of being here? Well, I've been doing a lot of other things too, and uh, you know, New Orleans. Working in New Orleans, we helped raise the minimum wage in, in six states in the last election. Uh, we've made college available to kids who are willing to work for it when they're in college. Working to make things better, Senator Edwards says, just look around New Orleans, and it's obvious more needs to be done. One place where he says more manpower is not needed is in Iraq. His position is in stark contrast to the Bush administration. We're in a very, very difficult place. Uh, I can tell you what I would do today. Uh, I would take out 40 to 50,000 troops right now. I'd make it very clear we intend to leave and turn responsibility for Iraq over to the Iraqis. And back live in Chalmette, Louisiana, just outside of New Orleans, where you see another difficult situation facing us here domestically cleaning up this region. The federal government has already spent $80 billion in this region. Again, though, you can see a lot more is needed. Back to the Iraq issue for just a second. The senator, in his uh, speech this afternoon, said that it was probably one of his biggest mistakes voting for the war in Iraq, and he actually apologized for that vote. So you can see that that will also be a very big issue as he moves forward in this campaign. We're live just outside of New Orleans, Louisiana. Brian D. Roy, NBC 17 News. <laughs>